A staple in South Jersey for decades now. It's screeching to a halt. Life in the fast lane for the Atco Dragway. It appears to be no more. The track announced it is abruptly closing. Big question here is why? New Jersey reporter Ryan Hughes is live outside the track in Waterford Township on what he's uncovered today about this announcement and also the shock that's now reverberating in that community, Ryan. Yeah, Natasha, good afternoon. It came as a post on social media that the track is closed permanently, effective immediately. And as you mentioned, that sent shockwaves through this community. There was an event planned here for this upcoming weekend. There were dozens of events planned here through November, and we learned today they have all been canceled. Bruce Hutchinson decided to take one last lap. I don't know what to feel. Hutchinson stopped to take pictures of the Atco Dragway Wednesday afternoon. He's been coming here for half a century. It was a place to come and enjoy. See a lot of uh, older friends that I met over the years. But a bouquet of roses was left on the fence after the dragway announced it's pumping the brakes and abruptly closing after 63 years. I didn't believe it at first. And then we got talking with a bunch of people at work, and it was popping up all over the place. The Echo Dragway made the announcement Tuesday night on social media, saying the track is permanently closed, effective immediately, but provided no reason why. The statement went on to say, Thank you all for your patronage and memories over the years. To all of our staff, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for sticking it out with us and being the best in the business. Several people on the property in Waterford Township were doing some heavy lifting Wednesday, removing furniture. CBS News Philadelphia approached a man who claimed to be the owner. He told us he didn't have any comment and asked us to leave. According to its website, the track claims to be the oldest in New Jersey. Hutchinson is now only left with these pictures and decades of memories. I knew uh, a lot of people coming here and just cars in general. So. It's kind of a hard pill to swallow right now. And the 29th Pan American Nationals, it was just held here last week. They were promoting the 30th annual, but we're told that will not happen anymore. Again, this news comes as a shock to so many, and it's still unclear what the future now holds for this property. We are live in Waterford Township, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia. All right, Ryan, thank you very much.